A landmark study on Alzheimer's found dozens of additional genes connected to the development of the disease. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor reports this could lead to early diagnosis and possible new treatments. Researchers say they've identified 42 previously unknown genes linked to an increased risk of developing Alzheimer's. While lifestyle choices like smoking, diet, and exercise can factor into development of the disease, genes determine 60 to 80 percent of a person's risk. Neurologist Dr. Ron Peterson is director of the Mayo Clinic Alzheimer's Disease Research Center. We've known for many years that Alzheimer's disease tends to run in families. And in a rare instance, there is a single gene that may cause that. But in most people, it's not due to a single gene. Yet there may be a combination of genes that actually predisposes an individual to develop Alzheimer's disease. The study, published in the journal Nature Genetics, says scientists looked at genomes from more than 100,000 people globally who were diagnosed with Alzheimer's and compared them to over 600,000 healthy individuals. Elizabeth Smith Bovin is executive director of the Alzheimer's Association of Northeastern New York. It helps really pave the way for, for better understandings of the cause and then better ways to develop tools for early diagnosis. And then all of that evidence put together allows us to create those robust treatments. A study like this now outlines those individual genes that may ultimately end up being drug targets or therapeutic targets for intervention. Smith Bovin points out something else in the study. Perhaps uh, one of the, the factors related to cause, if you will, of Alzheimer's disease is a flaw in the immune system. In other words, the immune system is not cleaning out or clearing out the brain of unnecessary materials. They say this is all another large step forward. Dr. Peterson says work is currently being done to create easily accessible blood-based biomarker tests that give an index of who may have it or be at risk for developing Alzheimer's and dementia. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.